Hey folks, this is Derek, and this is a tutorial on how to get your uh, custom shape file into SQL in order to run an analysis. As you probably know if you're watching this video, there are a number of ways to describe your area of interest inside SQL. You can either pick from SQL stock list of country and province boundaries, you can draw a polygon, or you can select from an EE table. EE stands for Earth Engine, Google Earth Engine. And what this means is that you actually need to go to Google Earth Engine and upload your polygon there in order to use it inside SQL. Before we do that, I just want you to make sure that on your account in SQL, you've connected to your Google account. And if you click on this button and, and make the connection, it'll guide you through the process. That is essential because SQL needs to be able to read the stuff <laughs> that is in your Google Earth Engine account. So once you've connected the two, then you can go over to Google Earth Engine. And um, if you click on the Assets tab, you can see that there is a space for a new asset. So I'm going to click on New Asset. I'm going to click on Shape File. And I'm going to select my most recent uh, shapefile zip and select this to upload. Now, it actually takes a, a minute or two for Google to process. So I'm just going to skip over to the part where I've already done it. Um, so assume, imagine that I have clicked upload and then waited the, the minute or two for Google to process the shapefile. The result will be a shapefile that looks like this. And uh, you'll notice that it has a table ID. This is what SQL is looking for. So I'm going to click on copy, or I can just copy this field, jump back into SQL, and then go over to select from EE table. Paste it in. SQL will think for a moment and start drawing information from the Google account. I have found that I sometimes need to select a column and an odd value just so that it recognizes that there is a shape there. But after doing that, it gives you a little preview of the shape and it pulls you in, hopefully, ta -da, to the shape file. So that is how you get a custom shape file into your SQL workspace. Good luck.